Nameless in a sea of the dying and shameless uh, A sea of the aimless I don't wanna be one of the nameless I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, 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 yeah. I just wanna be SmackDown since this past Sunday night's Royal Rumble and the road to WrestleMania continues right here tonight in Tampa Bay, Florida. But first stop will be the Elimination Chamber in Anaheim on the 22nd of January. And tonight, we will decide Seth Rollins' World Championship opponent at the Elimination Chamber in the second ever SmackDown Rumble. In 2004, Eddie Guerrero won this very event. But tonight, these 10 superstars have an opportunity to win a SmackDown Royal Rumble matchup with the winner challenging Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship in less than three weeks' time at the Elimination Chamber. My whole life I just wanted to be somebody to The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. And we kicked off SmackDown from Tampa Bay tonight with a Royal Rumble rematch. The Cruiserweight Championship is on the line. The one and only Ricochet walks out down the aisle for the first time since SummerSlam without the gold. A 189 day Cruiserweight Championship reign for Ricochet came to a screeching halt this past Sunday night in Toronto when he met his match versus the master of the 619, Rey Mysterio. Rey winning the gold for yet another time throughout his career. We gotta give credit where credit's due. What an impressive an exhilarating Cruiserweight Championship reign it was for Ricochet over the last six months. We talked about it on Sunday. Ricochet had sexual, successful championship defenses against Santos Escobar, Isaiah Swerve Scott, Wes Lee, Chad Gable, Roderick Strong, Tyler Bate. What an amazing reign it was for Ricochet. But Rey Mysterio, the man that knocked the one and only off that Cruiserweight pedestal and leave the Royal Rumble as the Cruiserweight Champion of the World. Ricochet wasting no time, looking to get the championship back here tonight in a special Royal Rumble meme rematch to kick us off here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown from Tampa Bay, Florida. And here comes the new Cruiserweight Champion of the World, the master of the 619, the greatest mask of all time, Rey Mysterio. Holding that prestigious Cruiserweight Championship gold for the first time since 2004 here on Friday Night SmackDown. 18 years later, the gold is back around the waist of the legendary luchador. Rey Mysterio after an awesome matchup with Ricochet this past Sunday night, outlasting the one and only and leaving Toronto in the Royal Rumble, the new Cruiserweight Champion. Now walking into the same matchup that he meant this past Sunday. Will the strategy be any different for that man, Rey Mysterio? Or will he go to the blueprint that worked at the Royal Rumble to try to succeed here tonight and retain the Cruiserweight Championship? This is going to be a great night of action on SmackDown. The first SmackDown on the road to WrestleMania. Less than three weeks will be in Anaheim for the Elimination Chamber. And all roads lead, as we mentioned, to the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Later tonight, the SmackDown Rumble. Ten men enter, one man leaves with a shot at Seth Rollins in the World Heavyweight Championship of the Chamber. But right here, right now, the title that is in the hands of the black and red, Rey Mysterio, the Cruiserweight Championship, the prestigious Cruiserweight Championship, is on the line here to kick us off from Tampa. You want to talk about a big fight feel on what is going to be a very meaningful night on the road to WrestleMania. Look no further. These two men tore it up at the Royal Rumble. The replay is available now, and they're going to do it here again in Tampa. The one and only. Where's the master of the 619? The gold is on the line. Let's send things down to the ring for your official Cruiserweight Championship introductions. Introducing the challenger 
from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, And introducing the champion from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, he is the WWE Cruiserweight Ray Mysterio. The stage is set here in Tampa Bay to kick off Friday Night SmackDown on the road to WrestleMania. The Cruiserweight Championship is on the line in a special Royal Rumble meet rematch. Rey Mysterio lose the gold in his first defense back to the one and only Ricochet, or the master of the 619 continue to ride this wave of momentum. We're gonna find out in moments as we kick off the first SmackDown on the road to WrestleMania right here, right now. The bell has sounded and the Rumble rematch is underway. For the matchup these two gentlemen had this past Sunday night in Toronto at the Royal Rumble. So Scotia Bank was rocking in Toronto, Canada in the North this past Sunday, New Year's night. What a matchup it was. The replay is available right now here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. And Mysterio defeated Ricochet, of course, for the Cruiserweight Championship. Now we're running it back tonight. Ricochet wants back the gold that he held for 189 days here in the WWE. And a Mysterio went to the cover off the Bulldog, and Ricochet gets the shoulder up. You gotta wonder if the strategy, as we mentioned, for Ray is gonna be any different compared to what was successful for him this past Sunday. And on the other hand, Ricochet, I'm sure, is coming in with a different blueprint tonight. Everything he tried to throw at Ray this past Sunday, obviously not working out in his favor as he left the North without the gold. So Ricochet's gotta change things up tonight, throw something at Ray that he's not gonna be expecting, all in the effort to win back the Cruiserweight Championship. It's a nice pump kick moments ago, now trying to keep the offense going. Nice collar and elbow from Ricochet and Ray. Sends him to the outside, and a beautiful drop kick by the one and only. Ricochet looking good in the early moments of this contest. Wait a minute, over the top rope, the human highlight reel of Friday Night SmackDown showing up and showing out tonight here in Tampa. To Pekin Hero over the top rope. Wait a minute, Ricochet springboard goes for the moonsault. Doesn't really connect with it. Rey Mysterio, however, still dazed, and Ricochet takes advantage. Ricochet throwing caution in the wind. That is what fills up his arsenal is those high flying maneuvers. Not everyone's going to hit flush, but Ricochet prepared for moments like that. Was able to keep the momentum on his side off that costly misstep there. But luckily, still in advantage of this contest. Now, wait a minute, springboard. Nice clothesline there by Ricochet. Didn't connect with all of it, but enough to take Ray off his feet. Ray got the knees up that time. You see Ricochet not really connecting with a couple of those moves in a row there. You gotta wonder if the psyche of the one and only is not 100% heading into this matchup after the loss on Sunday night. Try to get back into this match. Now try to allow Ray to get the momentum, but there's Ray with another counter on the current challenger. I was about to say Cruiserweight champion Ricochet, but Rey Mysterio, the new champion, Ricochet held the goal for 189 days. These two men trying to get at each other here. Slowing it down a little bit, Ricochet trying to change the pace. And the challenger picking up the current champion, the new champion, Rey Mysterio. Rey takes advantage, now knocks Ricochet down. It's a Royal Rumble mean rematch from New Year's night this past Sunday in Toronto. Look at this, Rey springboard goes for the crossbody and miscalculates it there. And again, that's a couple of missteps for both of these gentlemen throughout the matchup. You know, another thing you gotta take advantage is you gotta wonder what the condition of these two men are. Just coming days after their encounter at the Rumble. Are either of their bodies anywhere near 100% tonight? Nice arm drag by Ray. And now he's got the challenger reeling and drops the leg on the arm. And still to come tonight for the second time only in SmackDown history. It is a special SmackDown Royal Rumble matchup here on SmackDown. Ten participants, and the winner will challenge Seth freaking Rollins, the visionary himself, for the World Heavyweight Championship in less than three weeks, Sunday night, January the 22nd, in Anaheim, California, at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. 
Cannot wait to get to our main event tonight as Ricochet off the spine buster to Rey Mysterio. And now the one and only in the driver's seat once again in your Cruiserweight Championship matchup. Gonna be looking for the moonsault here and he hits it. And into the cover goes the challenger. Looking to win back the title just days after losing it, but not just yet. Now Ricochet heading to the top rope, keeps the momentum going off the shooting star press. Nobody can do it like the human highlight reel, but again, Mysterio gets the shoulder up. And this is where Ricochet's got to stay focused. He lost on Sunday, and things aren't really going his way right now. Ricochet's got to make sure the psyche doesn't get messed up as the later this matchup goes. He's got to stay focused on the future Hall of Famer, the multiple-time world champion, the current defending Cruiserweight champion Rey Mysterio. He's looking good. He's keeping the offense going. Well, there's a counter by Rey. Gets out of the way. And now Rey Mysterio trying to get back into this matchup that the Ricochet's been ruling the last number of minutes. And Mysterio again going to the well with what works. Takes that arm drag. Takes down the one and only. Ray off the double stomp here. The master of the 619 trying to build momentum. But again, Ricochet gets back into this. There's a drop toe hold by Ray. Almost had him in the ropes. Could have set him up for the 619 there, but luckily for Ricochet, almost unvertently avoided it. Nonetheless, the cruiserweight champion here. Not going with anything pretty. Just trying to smash the one and only's face up against the canvas. Respect is there by these two gentlemen. When the championship is on the line, it's any means necessary to walk out of Tampa tonight with the win. Ray off the X Factor. Into the cover. The ricochet kicks out. Ray has not gone for that 619 yet. That move, followed by a frog splash moments later, is really what paid him dividends this past Sunday night at the Royal Rumble. If Ray can hit those big time maneuvers in that combination, it may be all she wrote for the one and only. And a springboard moonsault by the challenger. And once again, Ricochet into the cover on Ray. But Ray again gets the shoulder off. And Ricochet, you see him questioning there. He thought he had a three. That is multiple occasions throughout this match that Ricochet almost won back the Cruiserweight Championship. Held the title for 189 days, only looking to go a few days without it. Looking to start his second reign here on SmackDown with the gold. Rey Mysterio trying to avoid that at all costs. So wait a minute, we're heading to the top rope here. Ray splits right, or Ricochet with a bulldog for the top rope. We've seen Mysterio Defeat Roderick Strong a few weeks ago with that very maneuver. But Ricochet gets the shoulder up. How close was that? It was that very bulldog a few weeks ago here on SmackDown that Rey Mysterio used on Roderick Strong to become the number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship. Ricochet was able to avoid it, now catches Rey in a powerbomb position into a fireman's carry and hangs him up on the top rope. Ricochet has done his homework tonight. He has changed up the game plan from Sunday night, and he's coming out swinging Phoenix Splash. And now again, into the cover by the one and only. Oh, and Mysterio at the very last second, 2.9. The championship stays with the master of the 619, at least for another moment, in your opening matchup here tonight in Tampa. And high implications on the road to WrestleMania here tonight on SmackDown. This Cruiserweight Championship matchup says it all. As Rey Mysterio goes to the outside, and the one and only here is trying to put together his next maneuver. Rey is days trying to get his wits about him, but Ricochet with the corkscrew over the top rope. Nobody can do it like the one and only in there. One of the most innovative towns we have ever seen inside the squared circle, pulling out all the stops tonight to take down Rey Mysterio. You see Ricochet hitting moves that he didn't hit on Sunday, he didn't even attempt to on Sunday. Maybe, oh, wait a minute here, Rey Mysterio on the outside of the ring. Look at this. He's going for a three amigos out there. Forget inside the ring. On the outskirts, he's gonna do more damage. A three amigos by Rey Mysterio, paying homage to the late great Eddie Guerrero, the man who won the inaugural SmackDown Rumble back in 2004. We're gonna see the second one of those here tonight. In your main event from Tampa, but Rey Mysterio continues to fight on the outside on the challenger for the Cruiserweight Championship. Now we're not done with the ringside action. A code red on the outside by Rey. Referee's at a count of seven here. Rey Mysterio ain't the kind of guy who's gonna wanna win, win this matchup, excuse me, by count out. 
Ricochet's day is all right. Look at that. Breaking up the count. He wants to go back at Ricochet. Ray wants to win this thing fair and square. Up on the shoulders and a hurt at Conorana. Frankensteiner takes down Ricochet. And count out the one and only. There's him throwing Ray into the barricade. This championship matchup has broken town into a Pier 6 brawl. As we mentioned earlier, the respect is there by these two combatants, but when the championship is on the line, any means necessary to walk away with the prestigious Cruiserweight Championship of the world. We mentioned it, or we were about to mention it earlier, but Ricochet's going for maneuvers tonight that he didn't necessarily go for on Sunday. You gotta think if Ricochet was maybe starting to feel a little comfortable at the top of the Cruiserweight division, maybe that's what cost him this past Sunday. And now the one and only's got his edge back without the championship. Now he feels like he's out to prove something tonight against Rey Mysterio. Nonetheless, we are back inside the squared circle. Rey's on the top rope. Ricochet trying to avoid disaster there, and he takes down the champion. Now, what does the challenger got in mind? He's heading back to the top rope. Rey Mysterio on spaghetti legs right now, and here comes the challenger. What a maneuver! And immediately into the cover. Oh, but Rey Mysterio barely. You see the lack of enthusiasm in that kick out. Enough to survive, but Rey Mysterio, the damage is certainly taking a toll on the champion. Incredible maneuver by the one and only. Almost like a West Coast pop Frankensteiner, similar to Rey Mysterio's old maneuver back in the day. And now Rey into the cover on a challenger, but Ricochet gets the shoulder off. And this is how you kick off the first Friday Night SmackDown on the road to WrestleMania. This is how you kick off Friday Night SmackDown just less than three weeks away from the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view in Anaheim. Ricochet's down, Mysterio's heading to the top rope. Oh no, goes for the frog splash. Ricochet got the knees up. You remember, Ray hit that frog splash this past Sunday night in Toronto to win the gold. Now Ricochet, inside cradle here, Ray Mysterio, that may be all she wrote. Ref was a little bit out of position, but Ray survives. And I've read, oh wait a minute, Ray Mysterio, look at this. Gets Ricochet in position, dial up the cell phones, a six, a one, and a nine. Rey Mysterio tried for the frog splash earlier. It missed, but he hits the 619 flush, and it's enough to win the matchup. What a fantastic cruiserweight battle here to kick us off in Tampa Bay tonight. Ricochet throwing everything in the kitchen sink at the cruiserweight champion, but Rey Mysterio is operating on a Hall of Fame level right now, retains the cruiserweight championship in his first defense here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Rey Mysterio. Nothing to be ashamed of from the one and only. Ricochet will live to fight another day, but tonight here in Tampa, the Cruiserweight Championship of the world is leaving with the master of the 619, Rey Mysterio, what a way to kick us off here in Tampa. We are back here in Tampa Bay for Friday Night SmackDown. Legado del Fantasma Santos Escobar is set for action. Ladies and gentlemen, the next time we come your way for a live premiere event is Sunday night, January the 22nd, 2023, less than three weeks away from Anaheim. The Elimination Chamber, your final pay-per-view stop on the road to WrestleMania. Sunday night, January the 2nd, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. It is a live premiere right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. The action never stops around these parts. What a pay-per-view that's going to be. Already announced for Monday Night Raw, Randy Orton and Rob Van Dam going one-on-one -on -one for the WWE Championship. Let's get back to SmackDown here tonight. And his opponent representing Mustache Mountain from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bate. Well, Tyler Bate has certainly been impressive since joining the Friday Night SmackDown roster back at the All-Star kickoff on December the 9th, 2022 in Las Vegas. He, of course, accepted an open challenge from then Cruiserweight Champion Ricochet came up short on that night in impressive fashion, though. Enough to earn himself a SmackDown contract. And the next time we saw Tyler Bate, 
on December the 21st at Saturday night's main event in another losing effort to the Prince Finn Balor. But again, Tyler Bay continues to get better, continues to impress here on SmackDown. We know how great this kid is, a former NXT United Kingdom champion, and he's got all the tools to be a champion here on Friday night's SmackDown. Both these men, of course, qualify for the Cruiserweight division. Both of these men were participants in this past Sunday night's Royal Rumble matchup. Unfortunately, both coming up short. The matchup was won by Monday Night Raw's Matt Riddle, and he will challenge the WWE Champion at WrestleMania. But nonetheless, Santos Escobar representing Legado del Fantasma. Tyler Bate looking to pick up his first win on SmackDown. One-on-one -on -one tonight here from Tampa Bay, Florida. And still to come, it is the second ever SmackDown Rumble. It'll feature 10 men with the winner challenging the visionary Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship in less than three weeks at Elimination Chamber. The 10 men that will participate in tonight's main event, Mustafa Ali. Oh, man, what a clothesline by Tyler Bate. We'll get back to what I'll say in a minute, but Tyler Bate unloading Moonsault off Santos Escobar. Into the cover he goes. Escobar gets the shoulder up. Now Tyler's headed into the top rope. We're going to make quick work of Escobar here tonight. What does the mustache got in mind? Santos Escobar's all dazed and confused. Goes for the crossbody, but Escobar out of position there. And we're going to take the momentum back in this one-on-one -on -one contest. For the SmackDown Rumble tonight, your 10 participants featuring Finn Balor, Shinsuke Nakamura, Robert Roode, Mustafa Ali, Jeff Hardy, Braun Strowman, Dolph Ziggler, LA Knight, Drew McIntyre, and the United States Champion, the almighty Bobby Lashley. One of those men will face Seth Rollins in less than three weeks, and Escobar almost picking up a victory right there over Tyler Bate. Santos Escobar has really been riding a rocky ship with Legado del Fantasma on board ever since he lost the Cruiserweight Championship this past summer. Had a couple of chances to get it back, unfortunately, was unable to do so. And now, look, joining, or excuse me, Legado del Fantasma ever since joining Friday Night SmackDown in the draft has really been trying to find their footing again. Will tonight be the night for Santos Escobar to bounce back? Tyler Bay trying to make sure Santos isn't getting back on the railroad tracks on his accord. He wants his first victory, a part of the blue brand tonight. Some amazing competitors in there right now. Nice chin breaker by Santos Escobar. Simple but effective maneuver. Now Tyler Bay is all worse for wear as Escobar gets a little bit of that elbow, not just much. We'll slow down the pace here. Santos Escobar doesn't want to get overzealous. It'll be too itchy for the victory that it cost him. Running full head of steam, dropping bait with the elbow. Very impressive maneuver by the former multiple time cruiserweight champion Legado del Fantasma's Santos Escobar. And now he's got Tyler Bay all tied up. Nice snap suplex there. Escobar is in the driver's seat of this one on one matchup here tonight in Tampa. And as this matchup continues, again, our next live premiere coming your way on Sunday night, January 22nd. Meanwhile, Tyler Bate, submission hold in here on Santos Escobar. Bit of a reverse Boston Crab. Very innovative by Tyler Bate, but Santos survives. Oh, man. Elimination Chamber will be your last pay-per-view stop, your last live premiere before we get to WrestleMania at the end of February. Date still to be announced for that epic two-night event. WrestleMania will be right here in Tampa Bay. Next time we come your way here from Tampa Bay, Florida will be the grandest stage of them all. Elimination Chamber will feature not one, but two Elimination Chamber matches. More info coming with those two matches this Monday night on Raw. So stay tuned for that. Elimination Chamber in Anaheim already shaping up to be a huge night. And then a Raw will feature Randy Orton versus Rob Van Dam for the WWE Championship. Plus Asuka will defend the gold against Tegan Knox. At Elimination Chamber as well for Monday Night Raw. Of course, later tonight we will find out Seth Rollins' opponent for the Chamber for the World Heavyweight Championship in the 10-man SmackDown Royal Rumble. Of course, it was this past Sunday in Toronto. Seth Rollins, an incredible matchup versus the franchise John Cena. Rollins pick up the victory, whether you like Rollins or not. Walking away with the World Championship. Of course, the match would have been fine left alone, but then Seth Rollins had a... Had a little insult to injury, a little post-match attack on John Cena, but nonetheless, Rollins walked away from the North, still World Heavyweight Champion. We will find out his next opponent 
in just a little bit here on Friday Night SmackDown. But Tyler Bate and Santos Escobar on the outside of the ring right now. Escobar escapes whatever Bate had in mind. Now sends him right into the hardest part of the ring on that apron. Escobar heads back in. Tyler Bate better get back in. You see Mendoza and Wild around the corners here, keeping their eye on Tyler Bate. You got to watch the numbers game for Legado del Fantasma. Now Santos Escobar and Insiguri knocks Tyler Bate out on the floor. And that falls enough to knock the wind out of anybody. Could be a knockout right there. Santos Escobar might have just won this match via countout. And again, we know how Tyler Bate, how tough Tyler Bate is, excuse me. Again, a former NXT United Kingdom champion. Wait a minute, Santos Escobar off the super kick there. You want to talk about knockout blows? Wait a minute, wait a minute. T Tyler Bates' foot was on the ropes, but the ref referee didn't see it. But we're caught. Santos Escobar wins this matchup. Oh, Tyler Bates got something to argue about here. He had his foot on the ropes off the super kick. Referee was out of position. He didn't see Bates' foot. That is a disappointing loss. Tyler Bate, that is unfortunate, but Santos Escobar is walking away with a victory. Still to come tonight on Friday Night SmackDown, we will decide the number one contender for Seth Rollins World Heavyweight Championship in the second ever SmackDown Rumble. Ten participants, but only one will receive the opportunity of a lifetime in less than three weeks at the Elimination Chamber. Wesley set for action here tonight on Tampa. And a tall, intimidating task ahead. Imperium's undefeated ring general, Walter, set for action. Wesley, an amazing competitor, an extremely talented and gifted competitor inside of that ring. But nobody has been able to step to that man in the middle. Walter just yet on SmackDown. Let's see what happens here tonight in Tampa Bay. And his opponent, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Walter! Drew Gulak, Mansoor, Oni Lorcan, they've all tried, they've all failed. The man who once held the NXT United Kingdom Championship for 870 days standing by the side of a former NXT Tag Team Champions and Fabian Eichner and Marcel Barthel, who we've yet to see in action here on SmackDown, but nonetheless, the Ring General, Walter. He may have came up short in the Royal Rumble matchup, but his shoulders have yet to be pinned to that mat, and he's yet to submit. He's undefeated, and he's absolutely an intimidating force to be reckoned with here on the Blue Brand. Imperium got drafted to Friday Night SmackDown back in November. They've yet to meet a challenge. Will Wesley give Walter a run for his money here tonight on SmackDown? It's already been an exciting night here in Tampa Bay on SmackDown. Rey Mysterio retaining the Cruiserweight Championship in a Royal Rumble rematch against the one and only Ricochet. Moments ago, Tyler Bate getting a little screwed over in that matchup versus Legado del Fantasma, Santos Escobar. We're gonna have to run that one back in the future, hopefully. But nonetheless, Walter Wesley, oh, look at this, Wesley! Taking the big man off his feet immediately with the kick, falls up with a senton. Wesley, a former number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship. An extremely talented competitor, also one half of former NXT Tag Team Champions. Obviously has all the tools to be successful, but a bit of a mismatch versus the ring general tonight. He's got to use his speed and agility to his advantage, but Walter has seemed to caught Wesley dead in his tracks. The ring general is dominant inside the squared circle. His size, his strength, his technique, his wrestling ability. Walter is one of those guys you can really look at and call him the full package inside of that ring. Now look at this, look at the domination out of Wesley, or excuse me, out of Walter on Wesley. Grabbing a hold and stomping down on his opponent. And there's nothing you can do when you're trapped against a man that size. Wesley, oh look at that. Using the speed to get out of the way there, Walter finds himself a little bit of predicament after that landing. Wesley is unloading on the ring general right now. It's exactly what the young man needs to try to knock off Walter here tonight. What an upset it would be. Oh, Wesley again. Well, Walter able to avoid it. Wesley, look at the talent from the young man. Takes the ring general off his feet. 
He's got to stay on him, though. If Wesley, oh. That moment of celebration might have cost him right there. Went for the shooting star press. Walter got the knees up. And now the ring general is not playing any games. Power bomb dead center of the ring. Can probably count all the way to WrestleMania. Walter goes 4-0 here on SmackDown. Got to give credit to Wesley. Came out swinging against the ring general. Unfortunately, might have cost himself taking a moment to celebrate. And that man, Walter, took advantage. As we mentioned, 4-0 for the ring general, Imperium's Walter here on Friday Night Smackdown from Tampa. In moments, we'll decide Seth Rollins' number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship in less than three weeks, Sunday night, January the 22nd in Anaheim for the live premiere event Elimination Chamber. But it is time for your 10-man SmackDown Rumble for only the second time in history. For the first time since 2004, the SmackDown Rumble here on Friday night, live from Tampa Bay. Introducing the participants. First, from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds. Dolph Ziggler! Well, the show off Dolph Ziggler entered number four this past Sunday, and unfortunately, his luck does not get much better entering number one out of ten here in the SmackDown Rumble. This is the second time ever we've had a Royal Rumble matchup here on SmackDown. Back in 2004, 15 men entered the same style of bout. It was won by the late great Hall of Famer Eddie Guerrero, who went on to San Francisco at No Way Out in 2004 to defeat Brock Lesnar for the undisputed WWE Championship. Will the winner of this matchup have that same luck? Will the winner move on to Anaheim to dethrone Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship? We will find out in due time, but you want to talk about not having that much better luck tonight. The man who drew number one in Toronto this past Sunday draws number two out of 10 here on the SmackDown Rumble. The charismatic enigma Jeff Hardy, the former world champion, kicks things off with the show off. Introducing the individual who drew number two from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, Jeff Well, Jeff Hardy had an impressive showing in the Royal Rumble matchup this past Sunday night. He started out representing Friday Night SmackDown at number one, in, in, in there, excuse me, with number two, Dominic Dijakovic from Monday Night Raw. Tonight, Jeff Hardy looks to have better luck than he did on Sunday. He may be coming out number two tonight, but the positive of the early entries is that it's not like you're lasting all the way to number 30. Only 10 participants tonight. A shorter field, but obviously a tough field nonetheless. Hardy and Ziggler will kick us off with Lashley and McIntyre and Knight and Strowman and other names still to come in this 10-man SmackDown Rumble. But the road to Elimination Chamber moves through Tampa tonight. The number one contenders matchup. Who will fight Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight title in Anaheim? We will find out right now. The bell has sounded and we are underway. Same rules apply to a Royal Rumble matchup here. The countdown's gonna come. Another man is gonna enter the ring. and will do so until all 10 participants have entered the fray. And of course, elimination occurs by going over the top rope. Both feet touching the floor. You are eliminated. Now entrance number three on the way is Dolph Ziggler beating down on the charismatic enigma Jeff Hardy right now. And who is gonna be the third entrant in the SmackDown Rumble? It is the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Dolph Ziggler in there with Jeff Hardy. Look at this. Oh, trying to eliminate Jeff Hardy here. Oh, and there goes Hardy. Jeff Hardy has been eliminated. Ziggler making quick work of the charismatic enigma. Nakamura in, Hardy out. A short night of work for Jeff Hardy, but nonetheless, the SmackDown Rumble rolls on. Ziggler takes Jeff Hardy out, and now is met with Shinsuke Nakamura at number three. And whipping Nakamura off, and the participants just going to keep on coming. Number four making his appearance and is the monster among monsters. Braun Strowman enters the fray. And now Ziggler trying to eliminate Nakamura as well. Nakamura holding on at least for a moment there. 
Ziggler trying to make quick work of all his opponents tonight. Our strategy by Dolph. Nonetheless, oh, there goes Nakamura. Nakamura has been eliminated. Well, the show-off's on a roll. Braun Strowman was just watching the field play out, and Dolph Ziggler eliminates Shinsuke Nakamura. Two quick eliminations for the show-off of the WWE as he gets power slammed by Braun Strowman. The glorious Robert Roode runs down at entrance number five, and I feel like this is where the momentum stops for Dolph Ziggler. He ain't gonna toss out Braun Strowman as easily. Now Ziggler trying to bounce back right there. He's clothesline to Braun. He's able to take him down for a second. Robert Roode now going after the monster among men. And Braun all tied up. Wait a minute. Oh, there goes Roode. There goes Bobby Roode. Braun Strowman said hit the showers. Rude in and out. The eliminations are coming left and right. Fatigue from this past Sunday, obviously playing a factor. A SmackDown rumble is off to a raucous start. Braun Strowman sidestepped Rude, sent him right out of the ring, and at the United States champion, Bobby Lashley at number six. Business picks up as we have Lashley, Strowman, and number number one, excuse me, Dolph Ziggler in there right now, who lays out Strowman with a famous sir, and one for Lashley as well. Man, what an exciting main event already. Dolph Ziggler's on a roll. Bobby Lashley, the United States champion, entering the fray, and I don't think anybody's gonna have as easy a luck sending the almighty over the top rope. Speaking of the United States Championship at number seven, here comes Mustafa Ali, the man who Lashley defeated back on December the 21st in Columbus, Ohio, at Saturday night's main event for the United States title. Mustafa Ali taking the fight to Ziggler. Lashley and Strowman going at it. Look at those two behemoths. Obviously, all four of these men, all 10 of these men that competed in this matchup participated this past Sunday's Royal Rumble. Of course, as we mentioned, Coming up short, Matt Riddle from Monday Night Raw, the sole survivor in that matchup. We'll face the WWE Champion at WrestleMania, but tonight is about the World Heavyweight Championship. It's about Friday Night SmackDown, and here comes the Prince, Finn Balor. And who had a better night outside of Matt Riddle than Finn Balor at the Royal Rumble? Balor may have came up short, but he absolutely walked away with the most eliminations in that matchup. I don't have my record book in front of me, but I believe about eight or nine eliminations in the Royal Rumble match this past Sunday for the Prince. Almost eliminating one third of the field. He has the same numbers tonight. Finn Balor's gonna punch his ticket easily to Anaheim in the Elimination Chamber. Five men in here. It's the most we've had in here in this matchup so far. And at number nine, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. You wanna talk about business picking up? McIntyre's looking to bounce back. Oh, now look at this. We got a little tag team right now. Lashley and Balor, who were opponents last week on SmackDown, trying to double team to get Braun out of here. But Strowman's having none of it. Remember just last week here on SmackDown, Lashley retained the United States Championship over Balor and Nakamura in a triple threat matchup. Balor almost went there as we await entrance number 10. And we obviously know who it's going to be. The defiant LA Knight, who well, I'm sure McIntyre has still got a score to settle after that low blow two weeks ago. LA Knight at number 10, your final entrant in the SmackDown Rumble. McIntyre eliminated him this past Sunday night. Will it be the same fate tonight, or will the roles be reversed? Got seven of the 10 men in there right now. A couple of quick eliminations early. Jeff Hardy and Shinsuke Nakamura were eliminated by Dolph Ziggler. Robert Roode eliminated by Braun Strowman. And one of these seven men will challenge Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship in less than three weeks in Anaheim, California. Ziggler trying to eliminate Braun. Braun able to block it. Seth Rollins, I'm sure, is watching intensely. Defeated John Cena to retain the championship this past Sunday night in Toronto. And now one of these great SmackDown competitors will be next to step up. And you gotta wonder, out of every... Oh, well, there goes Mustafa Ali. I was about to say... LA Knight eliminating Ali. And I was about to say, you know, we got some amazing talent inside of the ring, but Mustafa Ali was Seth Rollins' kryptonite over the spring and summer last year. I'm sure that's the last person he would have wanted to face. But nonetheless, Ali's out of here. McIntyre's trying to eliminate LA Knight as we're down to six men in the SmackDown Rumble. 
McIntyre and LA Knight, of course, battled it out a few weeks ago here on SmackDown. McIntyre picked up the victory, but it was after the matchup that told the story. LA Knight goaded McIntyre in with a handshake and cocked him with a low blow dead center of the ring. McIntyre got a little measure of revenge this past Sunday, eliminated LA Knight from the Royal Rumble matchup, but you see the issues continue here tonight in the SmackDown Rumble. Knight and McIntyre going at it. United States champion Bobby Lashley is all over Dolph Ziggler, who's been in since number one. I'm sure fatigue is setting in. And Braun Strowman and Finn Balor going at it. Who is going to fight Seth Rollins? At the final pay-per-view stop on the road to WrestleMania, the Elimination Chamber. We even, oh, Bobby Lashley almost eliminated by Ziggler there. But Lashley, the United States champion, holds on. Imagine if the United States champion Bobby Lashley could get himself a world title matchup. He'll have a chance to become a double champion and absolutely solidify himself as the face of Friday Night SmackDown. Knight going after Ziggler, McIntyre and Balor going at it. The two big men, Lashley and Strowman going at it. Lashley trying to eliminate Braun here, set him over the top, but Strowman again survives. Multiple times throughout this matchup, the monster among monsters, Braun Strowman has been able to get out of hindsight in this matchup. How long can these men last though? You remember all of these men competed in the Rumble this past Sunday. Fatigue sets in after a match like that. That's such a grueling physical Royal Rumble matchup this past Sunday in Toronto. Now the physicality rolls over to SmackDown tonight. Who's got enough in the tank to survive and fight Seth Rollins for the big gold in Anaheim? You know, for some of these men, they might be looking at this as their you know, last chance possibly for WrestleMania to get in the SmackDown World Championship matchup at WrestleMania. You beat Seth Rollins, you walk away with the world title. You're solidifying yourself a spot at WrestleMania, so we'll see what happens. But there goes Drew McIntyre. The United States champion, Bobby Lashley, ending the night for the Scottish Warrior. That has got to be disappointing for McIntyre. It's been well documented. The struggle that he had in 2022 in the big match situations, unfortunately that bad luck continuing to roll over in the new year for the Scottish Warrior. Just like that, we are down to five. Strowman, Balor, Knight, Ziggler, and the United States Champion Bobby Lashley. Who is going to fight Seth Rollins? Sunday night, January the 22nd, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, live premiere event right here on the YouTube channel, the Elimination Chamber. Dolph Ziggler started this matchup well over 10 minutes ago at number one. Still finds himself in the fray. Wait a minute, Bobby Lashley over. Ziggler trying to eliminate the champion, but Lashley quick to get back into the ring there. And now sends him over the top rope again. Ziggler trying to get him. Lashley's trying to block. And here comes Braun into the fray. Meanwhile, we got LA Knight going after Finn, and now LA goes after Ziggler. It's the chaos of this style of matchup. You gotta watch your back at all times. You see right there, Ziggler is now laying down on his back. As LA Knight came from behind. Eiler's going after the wounded Dolph right now. He's gotta be the target in this matchup for his length in the end here. Owen Strowman, of course, came in at number four. Because there's only 10 men in this thing, so eventually all the fatigue's gonna be setting in for all these competitors. Ziggler takes out Finn Balor. Lashley takes out LA Knight. McIntyre, your last elimination. We had a couple quick eliminations. Wait a minute, Balor over the top rope, and there he goes. Has been eliminated. The monster among men, the monster among monsters. Braun Strowman takes care of the Prince. See you by. We are down to four. Oh, wait a minute, Ziggler able to get the big man over the top rope, and Dolph eliminates Braun. Has been eliminated. Ziggler finding a second gear here. Takes Braun Strowman out of the matchup, trying to eliminate the United States champion, but Lashley survives. And wait a minute, LA Knight looking to put an end to Dolph Ziggler's night, or at least knock him out for a few moments. That could have been a good idea to take advantage of Ziggler, maybe team up, but Lashley went after Knight, and now LA Knight finds himself in the driver's seat. He's got the United States champion up, and he sends him down. A scoop slam by the defiant LA Knight. You don't have to like him, you don't gotta love him. You're certainly gonna hear his loud mouth. Oh, wait a minute, Knight eliminates the United States champion. We are down to two men. The defiant LA Knight, the show off, Dolph Ziggler, who is gonna fight Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship in Anaheim. The number one and number 10 entrance in the SmackDown Rumble, your final two. 
LA Knight taking care of the United States champion Bobby Lashley. Ziggler took care of Strowman moments ago. Now one of these men is gonna punch their ticket to go one-on-one -on -one with the revolutionary. Now Ziggler, oh wait a minute, there goes Knight. No, Knight holds it on and he gets the boots up. Right to the chrome dome of Ziggler, who finds himself on spaghetti legs right now. And now the defiant Knight slamming Dolphin to the mat. And Ziggler's got to be feeling the fatigue. Ziggler, oh wait a minute, clothesline! LA Knight's out of here! Dolph Ziggler's going to the elimination chamber! And just like that, in a matter of moments, the result can change just like that. Ziggler, you see him, send him right LA Knight here over. Is your winner, Dolph. Well, Dolph Ziggler, who was beat down by Seth Rollins well over a month ago here on SmackDown, now gets a chance at retribution. Elimination Chamber, Anaheim, World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. The show-off versus the Visionary. What a matchup that's gonna be. Ziggler outlasting nine other competitors. The first entrant and the last man standing in the second ever SmackDown Rumble here in Tampa. The road to WrestleMania continues to heat up. What a night here on SmackDown. Thank you for joining us. We will see you next week. Good night, everybody, from Tampa Bay. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a ride.